Hi, welcome to the Piano Podcast. I'm Mario O'Hara. In this video, I want to show you how to play the piano introduction to the song Let It Go from the Disney motion picture Frozen. In the introduction to Let It Go, the left hand just plays perfect fifths, intervals of a fifth apart from each other, starting off first with the F perfect fifth. The next one is the D flat perfect fifth. Next one is an E flat perfect fifth. And then the last one is a B flat perfect fifth. And then in the second half of the introduction, it just repeats it again F, D flat, E flat, and B flat. The pattern of the right hand in the first going with the first F perfect fifth, covers these five notes. G with four, A flat with five, and C with one. And when you put that together, actually you do it in this order. Four, five, one, four, five. And together with the F perfect fifth sounds like this. The one that goes with the D-flat pattern is the exact same thing, but instead of doing it in the order of G, A-flat, C, G, A-flat, the last two notes, G and A-flat, are flip-flopped. It goes G, A-flat, C, A-flat first, and then G second, okay? Or if you're thinking finger numbers, four, five, one, five, four. Together, it sounds like this. So when you put them together, it should sound like this. The next one that goes with the E flat perfect fifth actually has a pickup of B flat. So you should move your thumb in your right hand to B flat and move your fourth and fifth fingers to F and G respectively like that. And then you can cover those notes like this. B flat, F, G, B flat, F, G. And together with the perfect fifth, it goes like this. And then with the B flat perfect fifth in the left hand, the right hand plays an E flat first. I would use four. And I was used three on D flat, like that. So let me play the whole first pattern, hands together slowly. One, two, and here I go. second half of the introduction starts off the same way with the F perfect fifth like this. Now the D flat is different this time. Instead of starting off with the G with the fourth finger, you start off with the A flat and play it in this order instead. Okay, see the difference? The G and the A flat flip flop, so you're playing them in the fingering order Five, four, one, five, four. But then the rest is almost the same here. You start off with the pick up the B flat to the E flat like this. And then the E flat is again with the B flat perfect fifth. But instead of playing D flat, you play a D natural along with a B flat. That gives it a B flat major sound as opposed to a B flat minor, which you may see in the chord symbols on the sheet music. Let me play the second half of it so you hear what it sounds like in slow motion.
I'll play through it again slowly, both the first half and the second half straight through until where the singer comes in. One and here. Let me play through it one more time at normal speed and see if you and if you can keep up with me then you're in pretty good shape here. One, two, here. Hopefully you also picked up where I lift up the pedal. Basically it's every time that you change the perfect fifth in the left hand, that's when you should change the pedal so that you get a nice smooth transition from one harmony to the next. If you're interested in learning the rest of Froze, uh, Let It Go from Frozen, you can go to my blog at mariohero.blogspot.com and I have a link to buy the sheet music under on the right hand side and you'll find this link for Robert Lopez the composer for Let It Go from Frozen and that will take you to sheetmusicplus.com where you can buy download and print out a uh, uh, version of Let It Go for the piano. I also offer live online video lessons through Helpouts by Google. If you go to my blog you'll also find a link to my Helpouts listing but you also can go directly to it at helpouts.google.com slash plus Mario Harrow. And you'll see a bunch of my different listings, but the one that you want to look for is learning to play piano. And this is a, a service that I'm providing where I can give live online help through the Google Helpouts platform. So if there's a time that you see within my schedule that you'd like to schedule a, an online piano lesson with me to help you out possibly with the music from Frozen or anything else piano music related, I'd be happy to meet with you online. Thanks. Keep on practicing. Bye.